Ooh, welcome back to our little side of Havoc here, and we are back with a little Forever Stranded Lost Souls. As you can see, I got some stuff done, and I got some stuff done I didn't mean to. More like I was recording an episode, and I just didn't really like the, the quality of how I sounded and my energy and stuff like that, and it was running a little bit long, and I didn't get a lot of accomplished, so I just kind of toasted it and I'll kind of explain what I did in the meantime but here we are in our new little basey base kind of area and this is going to continue to expand out for a while until we can get to the overworld because we don't want to permanently stay in the nether I don't think I don't think so first thing I just want to show you I wanted to see if this would work until I made two uh, drawer controllers took the hoppers off the chest and kind of popped them on the drawer controller and all of a sudden they just dump right in and I constantly get stuff in here now. So that's really, really cool. And then when they fill, they fill. But I mean, uh, when will I ever really need more than 2000 wood at a time or, you know, 400 apples or, you know, whatever. So very, very productive, very, very useful, very, very happy. This was pretty simple. And then uh, also I did get going into um, uh, some extra utility stuff and that was kind of intentional kind of unintentional I started to get going on um, thermal no not thermal um, immersive engineering right and I did get the kinetic energy done as well as the low voltage stuff some simple stuff just kind of grinding out or whatever got them in I don't know one of these chests around here uh, actually I think it's back the, the back one right here yeah so I've got the uh, kinetic dynamo and some low voltage capacitor, uh, low voltage wire relay and all that fun stuff. And got those done, but I, at that point, it, there was something I wanted to do. And it was basically needing to get more resources, right? So I was like, well, okay, I need more resources. Let us make a cobblestone generator. So I tried to do uh, the good old transfer node on top of the cobblestone, which should have worked. And then I messed with it and messed with it and messed with it and couldn't figure out what was going on. Then I realized, I took a look at this guy right here, the mining upgrade, and it says max upgrade minus one, which in my knowledge means deactivated. So it's not working. So, and I didn't notice that at first. And I kept working on it, working on it. And then I was like, well, you know what? Maybe it's because it needs this GP or That's what it's called, right? GP? Yeah, grid power, GP. And I was like, okay, so how do I get GP? Oh, to make the machines, I needed to make the resonator so I can make parts for some of the machines. And then I needed to make this little hand crank. And then I tried to make all these extra little fire mills and I still wasn't working. Then I finally noticed that it, you know, was deactivated. And so I was like, okay, well, there you go. A whole bunch of stuff done. And I was just so frustrated. And like I said, I wasn't feeling, you know, uh, overly energetic. And so I kind of ditched the episode. So yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. We've, we've got a resonator now um, and we are putting out what 16 GP. So we've got a decent amount right now. And then, you know, one little click on here and I'm all the way up to 31. I did think this was cool. If you right click on the manual mill and just leave it there, you don't have to hold anything or do anything. It just kind of, it's like an AFK power, like 15 power. All you gotta do is just sit here and just let it do its thing. So, so that was cool. So anyways, after recording the episode, oh yeah, by the way, and I did make a furnace generator because I thought this was how, see, furnace generator. I thought that's how I was gonna generate this grid power. No, it's just a freaking generator, which is cool because I, I plan on using it today in this episode, but uh, yeah, so it's just there. And this was actually really simple to make. Um, I can't just, why are you doing that? I was trying to show the recipe, but it's just a furnace, uh, this little redstone crystal thing or whatever, and yeah. Now, if you notice, it's really quiet around here. Look at, no mobs are bothering me. Yay for no mobs. I finally got some of my levels up. I've been working on my levels, going around mining quartz and stuff like that and uh, get my skill levels up. So a couple of them are up there, 16, 17, 11 for gathering. I was finally able to place the mega torch. And this has a 64 block radius, which basically means I'm covered all the way as we go this way for a while. And then I'm covered all the way out into like this. I thought I picked all those up. 
um, all the way up to the front. Like this, that, that torch covers all the way to here. Now, this torch is almost redundant for like basically this entire area because they're both covering it. But I just wanted to kind of cover out in that direction a little bit as well. So I plopped this one down here. And you can see I've been kind of running around and doing stuff. Um, that was unintentional. I was running from something. Like that was a pillar to pillar up. And uh, I did meet to my demise at one point and died way down there in the lava. And I wasn't being careful. But anyway, so this kind of just covers some of this area. And it's nice and safe now. I haven't had any mobs in a while. Um, and it's been quite peaceful. I also did find out that basically, like that right there. This is so annoying. I picked all those up. Uh, anything from Primal Core that has like a, a flame on it or whatever can burn you. And I made up some torches just to kind of make the area a little lighter. I mean, you don't really need to light up the nether because it's not dark. But I just think, you know, lighting is a lit room versus a dark room just looks a little bit better. And I was getting burnt by the regular torches. Then I found out, well, I didn't find out, but I tried the Tinker's Contract Torch and they don't. I can just stand here all day and not burn. So I kind of switched all those out. and So here we are. Yes. So we want to get going. As I said, we we're doing the immersive tech, right? I just did the low voltage stuff, and now I want to be, move on to the medium voltage stuff. So we're going to need some wires, uh, connectors, relays, coils, and capacitors. Now, unfortunately, hey, unfortunately, um, all the medium voltage stuff requires electrum. Now, we have our cool little smeltery thing over there, but we can't make electrum yet because this doesn't alloy. So what we need to do is figure out a way to make electrum. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So I want to, oh, you know what? Let me do this. I, I love that I learned this trick. Um, an electrum ingot. And there's a couple ways we can do it. We could smelt, but we got to make the electrum blend. Now we can craft silver dust and gold dust and make electrum blend. But I don't want to, you know, sit there and use the mill the the applied energistics uh, grind mill or whatever uh, grindstone that just takes a really really long time now I could do that and just get it going but I thought hey let's try to get since we got the furnace generator let's try to get a little more advanced and check out some of our good old regulars that we all know and check out some thermal expansion and I'm thinking the pulverizer is in our future uh Oh, it's because I didn't fully spell Electrum. All right, there we go. So pulverizer right here. Um, why is this? I don't know. Anyways, so the pulverizer, pretty, pretty simple, right? It's a piston, which I have from a, a loot box or loot crate. Flint, super easy. Um, the redstone reception coil, easy. Now the machine frame. Now I made the resonator, so we are going to get use out of that bad boy right now. <clears throat> by going to grab some iron, which I don't have a lot of iron in here, or I don't seem to have any iron in here. Did I put it? Where did I put all my iron? I've been keeping all my metals in here. Did I put it over here? No. Okay, maybe we got to go smelt some up. So, yeah, so we need nine iron. Um, iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now I'm not going to take the time to grindstone these up right now because I just want to... Oh, there's my iron right there. That's what I was looking for. Apparently, I moved it all over here. Um, I was going to say, I'm not going to take the time to grindstone them up right now because once we get the pulverizer, we're going to be rocking and rolling. And we're going to be start doubling ore super easy. And that'll be really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and throw the iron block in there. Whoa, that was really fast. That was like 10 times faster than I thought that was going to be. Oh, and apparently that is an achievement. Cool. Um, and then now we've got plenty of these bad boys and I've got my hammer around here somewhere just a regular hammer I don't want my compressed hammer <sighs> I really really I know I said it in the last one I want to get these drawers sorted out but then I just never get around to it so can I use this yet nope my gathering is not high enough you know what screw, I'm just gonna make another freaking hammer screw it okay screw it we're just gonna make another hammer and one two three and so, yeah, so we're going to get this guy up and running. And then we should be able to start making a lot more stuff. 
there we go oh you know what I needed two flint so let's do that again one two and bingo bango got it all right cool so we've got our flint now I need uh, gold for the reception coil I believe it was gold and I need to go grab some redstone oh I did move my cauldron down from over there uh, made myself a couple fire charges lighted under same thing I did here just fire charged under I thought that was pretty smart of me um, I need more redstone well not right now but eventually eventually I need some redstone um, I also did find this kind of cool chest um, or work table as it may be um, it's actually pretty nifty whatever chest it's sitting on top of it basically reads the inventory so you can access it when you're crafting I think that was just pretty cool I was like I, I like to test stuff out when I'm not you know no recording and stuff like that and I'll kind of show you my automatic uh, cobblestone farm in just a second but I'm gonna promote these gears I just threw some copper in prior to the episode so we can make some copper gears and we can get this pulverizer done like a sapish yeah so get these done really really quickly and I think it's four per right so I should yes just enough to make those two come on come on come on anytime now thank you all right so we're good to go there i've got the machine frame i've got the coil i'm missing what am i missing what am i missing oh the piston the piston is all i'm missing and i don't have a piston hmm. and that's going to be annoying because i just used up my redstone do i have any dust around here i do have dust sweet Let's go and do some compressed dust real quick. I think I still got, yeah, okay, I still got those in there. Um, yeah, so we can get some redstone real quick. I, I believe it was, that's how I get my redstone, right? Um, you, redstone, uh, sifting, where's sifting? There it is, heavy sift. Uh, with the iron stiffened mesh, it's a 12% chance with a diamond it's a 25 percent chance and a different iron mesh it's a 12 percent chance so we are using diamond here all right cool so we'll get a little bit of redstone real quick and then we'll be able to go make our piston hopefully it isn't anything weird i think it's just some of the recipes changed some of them didn't and i never know which one's going to be which i don't know if it's going to be like treated wood versus regular wood or treated sticks versus regular sticks like stuff like that it's just little changes um, they're kind of subtle, but you know, you get you so used to certain recipes that it is a little bit like, er, why did you change that particular recipe? All right, one iron ingot and woods over there. Oh, cobble. Let me grab four cobble. And I should have at least two planks in here. I have exactly two planks in there. Okay, cool. So you and then you and then you. I need three planks. What was I thinking? Um, let me just do this. Let's put you back there. Take you. There we go. All right, cool. So you, you, you. Good. And then like that. Cool. So we've got our pulverizer. Pretty, pretty nifty. Okay. Let's break you and put you right here. Are you getting power? You are getting power. All right, sweet. Now, let's go get some coal for this guy. That ghast is driving me nuts. I have no idea where he's at. I have none whatsoever. I just hear him, but he can't be close by. He's got to be like way up. Like I see the red thing, but he's got to be like way up there. I don't, oh, driving me absolutely nuts. I kind of just want to go kill him. Um, but I came back out here for a reason. What did I, oh yes. Because I want to pulverize all of these guys up, right? And I'm going to go make an input chest and an output chest. So we need perfect. And I need one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four for the chests. And make you and you. I've kind of gotten to this chest recipe like super quick now. Uh, grab you two, put you there, and there we go. Okay, so this is going to be set up like this. You're going to be in, you're going to be out. 
you go oh oh no 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 um this is gonna be annoying but i do have the movers right yeah uh let me go grab two just because i'm not gonna stack my blocks like weird okay so you go here you go here there we go and you're gonna outport there you're gonna input there and put all you guys in and is there an augment that I need? There's something I need. Auto input. No, auto input enabled. Auto output enabled. There we go. And so you should pump right out of that chest, right? Yes. Cool. Now I could make a uh, redstone furnace right now if I wanted to and just send them straight to ingots, but not a super huge deal. I can just run them over there and smelt them whenever needed. So that's kind of cool. So we're good to go there, right? Cool. Now let's dump some of the stuff that I don't need right now. And let's get going on some of So I need, I should probably switch these. So it's gold and silver first. Um, silver. And gold is where, well, here is a gold. Um, shut up, you stupid ghast. Gold. Did I miss gold when I was in here? Nope, but I got eight of them right here. Where's my gold? I don't remember smelting it all up. Oh my goodness, I need to turn the sounds down. It's just one stupid ghast. Like, go away already. Oh, goodness. Okay, um, let's take you out of there real quick and put you back in here. And let's smelt up the, or pulverize the gold as well. So, silver's going. Now, I don't need a lot, but I need some. Um, how much electrum am I going to need? Let's let's do the math real quick. Um, inventory. So, I need... Okay, that's iron. Okay, that's all iron there. That's easy. That's iron there. That's easy. This one's electrum. So I need two electrum ingots for that. And for the wires, I need one, two, three, four. So four electrum ingots for that. Okay. So just four. Not too bad at all. Um, oh, and look at that. Um, there we go. So you should export too, right? There you go. Okay. So how much silver do I have? Uh, 16 silver. That's enough. Let's get that gold in there. And then we'll let the silver go. Actually, then I want the iron to go so I can get some iron built up too. And actually, I want some ferrous. So nickel will go after that. Cool. All right. So gold and silver. Let's see if that actually makes the electrum blend like it's supposed to. It does. Electrum grit. Cool. And then get that smelted. Okay, so I need one, two. Yeah, I need six. That was absolutely perfect. Okay, where's my hammer? Where in the world did I put my hammer? I think it's in this chest over here. And it's probably not because I think it is. And I don't see. Oh, yeah, right there. Right next to my chamber. Ha ha. I actually put something in the right place. Doesn't happen often. All right, so get the electrum. We'll hammer out four of these and put them around a sticky stick like so and we will have our plates like that yep cool uh oh wait i need my shears that's what i need i need my shears wherever they're at i've got like three or four of them. there we go i was like i can never find them and then i make another one and oh, just bad minecrafting bad minecrafting okay there's four of those stick there and we've got our wire, right? Did I get credit for that? I did, cool. Now we need to go make those guys, which means I need some iron. And there it is right there, cool. Got those two, let's cook up some iron. And, oh yes, and the terracotta. So I made some earlier when I made the, the low, oh, there's all my gold. <laughs> I was hand grinding it. Um, Let's go ahead and cook those up too. And then let's go, ah, geez, and put the gold over here. And actually I can just pick this machine up now. This one is now a moot point. 
and yeah there we go and we can go and put you in the pulverizer over here like so perfect let us just toss this oh yeah that reminds me so um i did figure out how the faucets and the porcelain channels work right i was trying to connect the two directly together what has to happen is you have to have a faucet connected it pours into the channel then the channel pours into the drum and as you can see i've got you know 31 buckets full of creosote in there so that's really really cool uh it, i looked it up and that was pretty nifty so over here i haven't shown you this yet so this is my auto cobblestone generator okay it's turned off at the moment because I just don't like the sounds and it actually drops my frames a little bit. But I was trying to figure out how to get these nodes to basically auto craft. And they were not auto craft, but mine. And they weren't mining. As I told you, the thing was disabled, whatever. Um, so what I did was I was like, okay, here's a crafting table um, from uh, Terraquasios or something like that. I forget the name of the, the actual mod, right? But basically, you put a recipe in here and then fill it and then it'll auto craft for you. And if you pull out, it just pulls out from the spot right here based upon what you have it set. And it was put in right into a uh, chest when I first did it. And I was like, okay. So then I was sitting there mining, 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 mining. Once my inventory got full, then this was over here a minute ago. Um, this would start kind of picking up. And if anybody's ever used transfer nodes, they know that it'll pick up airborne items when you break them close by and stuff. So it was picking up all the rocks and doing it for me and putting it into a chest. And then all I had to do was grab them, make the cobble, and we're good to go. And then I was like, huh, let's try this. So now... Uh, this one will, or this one was collecting and then blah, blah, blah. Then I went and checked one of the other um, achievements, which I don't actually think I've claimed yet. Um, it's around here somewhere. Uh, tinkering, no. What was one of them? Stuff and things. Yeah, there it is. So uh, mechanical things, right? So I already made, that was the mechanical miner. Then there's a mechanical user, which I'm thinking of making for over here. So I can then place and then, you know, try to set this up for auto sifting. That's, that's the goal. We'll see how that goes. Um, but I'm going to need semi-automated because I'm going to still have to actually create the gravel and stuff like that. But anyway, so I made this guy, it breaks the block and I can turn it back on real quick. And so this is why I just hate, because I get framey, as you can see, I dropped down to like 40 frames. Not a big fan of getting framey like that. And it's loud. And I could probably just reduce the block sounds, but if I'm not in the need for stone at the time, you know, whatever. And it just pumps them into here. Every time it makes that recipe, it goes up to here. And you can just see the number just increases. I guess that was the last one, so it's not increasing anymore. But yeah, so so basically it's automated. Um, all I gotta do is just turn this thing on and it's auto cobble. And I'm already up to, what am I up to? Ooh. Why can't I? I'm trying to like see the display. Uh, oh, it has to be an empty hand. There we go. And so yeah, so I'm up to 5100 cobble. That's, I think that's pretty good. I think we're doing okay there. I'm okay with it. All right, so you're all done. Now we can go over here and craft you guys up. Why? I don't understand this freaking yeah, right there. It's this spot likes to go fill a corner. I don't know why. I don't know what's causing that, but... Oh, I do need one lead and a redstone block. Do I have enough redstone? Oh my goodness, I'm one redstone short. Got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I've got to have some redstone somewhere. Um, I don't. Did you start pulverizing lead yet? Please tell me you already pulverized lead so I can just grab one. You did not start pulverizing lead yet. Okay. Oh wait, was that lead? Ah, perfect. That was like perfect timing. All right, so you go in there, get our lead ingot, and oh, it's time to eat. Oh, this reminds me of my new food, Vallis bread. It's Vallis melons that come from this nether bush over here. I don't know, it's a, a primacore bush. Basically, you just give them a little clicky click and you take these little melons cook up the melon and it gives you bread and it's i mean it's not the best like saturation or food or whatever but it's cheap and easy so 24 melons throw them in the the furnace and <clears throat> we've got bread so that's that's actually pretty cool so i'm okay about that one um but i need redstone so <clears throat> where's the rest of my dust i didn't finish all the dust did i 
I did. Okay. Let's hope for the best here. Let's grab. Uh, let's do two, three stacks. Or not three stacks, but. Uh, okay, why can't I count in my head right now? Uh, 36, so I need 32. There we go. I'm literally like thinking in my head, trying to do math, which I know math so good. So um, there we go. And then my hammer. There we go. Just trying to get enough to compress like even stacks. I don't know if that made sense what I was doing there, but that's what I was trying to do. And then that way I get three compressed, four compressed, I mean, and then come over here to my diamond and hopefully I'll get at least one redstone. Uh, except I need dust. <sighs> Let's try that again. Hopefully. And now I need my compressed hammer. Jeez. Hopefully. I will. I got so many of these compressed hammers all over the place. I don't know if I can. I still can't use that one. Um, I really need to get myself situated and organized some sort. Just so I can kind of remember where stuff is at. Like, ah, there's dust right there. Let's do this. Let's do this. There we go. And let's make up some dust real quick. I don't even know if this hammer is going to be able to break two blocks. It should be able to. Two, two is reasonable, I think. Two is reasonable. Um, there. Dust. Okay, cool. And 24. Not. We're going to hope that these two yield us just one piece of redstone that's all i need just one piece of redstone okay oh perfect and i saw two right there at least and 12. nope that's perfect i can go ahead and put the rest of this in here we'll go ahead and put that in here for right now um it looks like we're good to go yes so it was a block of redstone for that comparator i believe or is it a capacitor or a comparator i'm making which one am i making i'm making a capacitor Okay, so redstone in it up, do, 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 do. and that should be everything we need. Oh no, treated wood planks, which I know for certain are in this drawer right here. For once, I actually know where something's at. And achievement complete. Perfect. Now I'm hoping this unlocks the windmill. It does not. It just goes there. Where, how do I unlock the windmill? That's becoming the question. Because, well, I guess I could just make, I don't know much about it. I don't need potions. Definitely don't need potions. Go away. Okay. Uh, maybe the sails. Maybe the sails will do it. How do we make these sails? Um, windmill sail. Okay, let's check it out. Windmill sail. There you go. So this takes either six hemp cloth or six tough fabric. That is hemp fibers around a stick or just hemp fibers. How do I get hemp fibers? Hemp fibers must come from hemp, which comes from sifting gravel on a flint. Either way, and I can get hemp, okay. Uh, well, what is this used for? Oh, okay, and then use the millstone. Okay, okay. So we're gonna make up some gravel real quick. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five? Yeah, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and put you all like that and make you. Thank you. I should probably make myself another hammer. Sorry, I was counting in my head. Um, and then 27 sticks. I missed by two. Okay. And let's make up our hammer real quick. There we go. 
and bing, 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 bing. And there we go. Okay, cool. So we got a flint. Do I have my flint over in this chest? This is iron right here, right? Yeah, that's iron mesh. I need... Where's my flint mesh at? Always trying to find stuff. I thought I left them all in there. Um, I mean, I know I move stuff around randomly, but I would have th thunk leaving the meshes where the meshes are needed. And now I'm not seeing it anywhere. It's probably over in the chest in the last chest I'm going to check. And I'm not assuming that, but I'm actually I think I put it in there. There's the string one. Where's my flint mesh? Okay, I'm grabbing the string one just in case I... <sighs> Good grief. Where... Oh, they're right here. Jeez. That's why I couldn't find you. You are right here. Okay, so let's get you out. Put you in. You two. Where'd you go? These two. You guys get in there. Okay. And that's iron stiffen. That's iron stiffen. These are iron stiffen? Where the heck is my flint? Where the heck is my flint? Screw it. Let's go make some flint real quick. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, one, two, three. I'll have plenty of gravel right now. I can make a couple pieces of flint and I'll be okay. All right, perfect. Um, well, that's that's inopportune. Okay, uh, one, two. I need one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I'm really curious as to where it's at. Um, it just seems kind of strange to me because I was pretty sure I had them all here. Okay, flint, stiff, and mesh. There we go. Let me take out take out you there we go and oh yeah now I gotta uh, now this isn't gonna work anymore because it's off all right and there okay cool and hopefully we get some hemp quickly Hopefully, 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 and also, hopefully, ah, hemp, cool, right off the bat, cool. And I'm just going to let this do its thing for a second, just so I can get a couple pieces, because I'm going to need quite a bit, actually. Um, what I might do, because we're running out of time, I might just sit here and get all the hemp built up, and then once I get all the hemp, we will uh, make the strings, make the pieces, put the windmill together, finish that one up, and then called an episode so we will be back in just a moment so i just thought of an idea while i was getting ready to grind that and i didn't want to get the hunger part up again because it would just make me so sad let's go back over to stuff and things and check out this mechanical user let's see if i can make this guy really quick if i can make this guy i'll be one happy camper um mechanical user i think it just like right clicks for you doesn't it um unstable ingot that can be made with iron, a stick, and a diamond. Okay, and I'm gonna need two of those. Okay. Why in the world, okay, hold on. Why in the world would I use a block of iron when I can just do an iron ingot? Okay, so diamond, stick, iron. I can handle that. Um, I just need two of them. And then I need a dropper, one of those, and two levers. We can do this. We can definitely do this. Okay. I need... Diamonds are out there. Sticks and levers on the way. I need... I need one more redstone. Did I get any redstone when I did that dust? And did I put it out here? Because I'm going to need one more. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. Let's make up some dust real quick and hope for the best. Okay, and sand. And let's take the diamond. Nope. 
the diamond one and put it right here. And I can do that for redstone, right? I can do it, it doesn't have to be the heavy. Um, sometimes I feel as though it has to be. Um, regular sieve, dust, with iron stiffen is a 12% chance, with diamond stiffen is a 25% chance. Okay, cool. So, there's gotta be a good chance. I only need one. There's gotta be a good chance to get it here. I don't see any red flash in front of my screen. There it is, cool. That's all I needed really quick so I can come back over here and make this guy like that. Cool, so we've got you. Got the materials to make the levers. Where did I just put that cobble? I don't know. And then everything else is right here. I can put it in this chest. Okay, cool. And I can craft from this. Okay, cool. So I don't actually have to put it in my inventory so much better. Um, I've killed myself many a time doing unstable ingots. And I don't want to do that now. Okay, so I'm going to put diamond. Sorry, I just need two of you. I need two of you. And I need two of you. Okay, this recipe doesn't seem to be working. Unstable ingot. Industrial diamond, diamond, iron, Oh, goodness gracious, this is the one that has to be done, the rest, regular crafting table. Okay, now I remember. Now I remember. That's how I kept killing myself. Uh, but, but it was divide with the division sigil, but still. Let us take these. Okay, so the recipe is this, this, and this. Um, you are used to make this guy okay and then the dropper okay we've got that recipe dropper goes there okay i'm just kind of trying to make sure we memorize it so we don't mess it up oh i know i'm gonna kill myself right now i know i'm gonna kill myself right now dropper and then make the two ingots okay we need a regular crafting bench there we go okay here here goes nothing here goes nothing. I'm going to get away from anything. I don't know if other stuff blows up, so I just want to kind of be away from everything else. Um, right here feels like a dangerously safe place. Okay. So I want to make sure my whole inventory is like filled so I know exactly where those ingots are going to go. Um, let's put you down. Let's make sure that's there. Okay. The levers are going to go in, so they're going to automatically go there because we gotta do this fast. Okay, so one, one, two, one, two, and I left the iron over here. Good grief. I'm literally like, I'm antsy about this. I've killed myself before doing this. I don't want to kill myself again. Okay, what the heck? That is most certainly that recipe. Does it have to be the iron block? Is that part of the problem? It has to be an iron block and this is just a mistake? Let's make an iron block real quick and see. Well, I'm gonna need two iron blocks if that's the case. So let's go make eight more ingots. I should have some in here. Pulverize iron, good. And smelt those up real quick like. Got more of the bread. Oh my goodness. I really, really hope this works. Okay. Let's go test this recipe out real quick while we're, we're doing this. Because if this doesn't work, then these recipes are just jacked up. Yeah, I don't understand. Ah, there it is. The infamous unstable ingot. Okay. Okay. I got this. This is easy. You know what? This, there's nothing to worry about. This is super simple. I'm going to shift click. They're going to go right here. Bink, bink. And we're done. Mechanical user. Booyah. We've got this. Okay. All right. And we're way past time again. But that's, you know, the usual, right? 
I always say, 30 minutes, and then 45 minutes in, hey, it's time. But I want to get this done, because if I can get this done and not have to keep clicking on that thing and using my hunger to click on the uh, the little thingamajig over there, okay, cool, then that will be awesome, because then I don't really mind. Then I don't even need power, like, in the, the mechanical power, whatever that thing is called and stuff, okay. Okay, so let's move some stuff around. You're there, you're there. I'm just filling spots so I know the ingots are gonna go right here. Right, so you're in the middle, you're on top with the ingots. Let's double check that recipe really quick. Uh, one more time. Red on top, dropper in the middle. That is a dropper I have. Okay, good, go. Dropper, you're there, you're there, you're there, you're there. You're there and go. Whew. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, let us just place a block right here so I have something to backdrop this on. Oh my gosh, 32 building. 32 building. How did I not notice that? Why is this a requirement this early if I need 32 building? That is just ridiculous. I was so excited, like, hey, we've, we've got something rocking here. 32 building. I'm at like 15, 16. I need literally 16 I, levels for days. This is so not gonna happen. Apparently, I'm doing it by hand, unhappily. So I think this is what we'll finish up today doing is wrapping it up right here. But we got, you know, an achievement unlocked and we didn't get anything good for it, but you know what? Hey, achievements are achievements. We're getting stuff done, and that is the most important part. And I'm having fun. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having fun. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope uh, this is more of you know stuff you guys want to see because I'm having a lot of fun doing it, and I, I you know, I, I like that you guys enjoy it too, and you guys have a lot of useful you know tips and tricks for me that are amazing. And that's probably the fa my favorite part is when you guys actually reach out to me like, yo, try this and do this, and I'm all about that stuff. So. Next time, we will come back and uh, we'll do the wind sails and probably get into the high voltage stuff and hopefully unlock some mechanical power so I never have to stand here and just eat food over and over again. And I have a feeling I forgot to put the hemp and I did. I'm literally just over here burning calories. That's all I was doing. I wanted to, you know, get some exercise. Back and forth on the lever. Back and forth. All right. So until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slaughter Havoc and I am out of here. Peace.